the other thing it, it makes you think of is is, is um, what's called the, the Overton window, which I think a lot of people have, have heard of it at this point. But we'll 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 talk about like the um, you know what it is. It's um, you know we can go to to the, the Wikipedia article, which which actually just makes you think of, of an aside of you know there there are serious problems these days with with the Wikipedia, and that it it it's still a go-to source. I mean, you kind of you kind of can't function without it, really. For you know, it, it's where you go to look up things, but but there are ways that it, it's it's manipulated. I mean, you you have um, government associated actors who are out there, you know, doing edits, um, you know, people um, that you, you just know are being coordinated and paid to do edits. I mean, I, you can hire a PR firm and part of what they'll do if you're a famous person is manage your, your PR presence and your Wikipedia presence. And they'll get in there and they'll have people, you know, doing edits and they'll try to, you know, push it as much as you can. And if you think that, that, you know, government and narrative managers aren't, aren't doing that, then I think you're kind of naive. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You just have to think about the motivations of the people that might be editing the information you're reading. And and one of the examples of that is, you know, one of our favorite sites is the, the Gray Zone. And, um, you know, I recommend everyone, you know, read the Gray Zone, Max Blumenthal, um, Aaron Mate, and the whole crew there. Um, They've had some recent stuff from from Christian Parente that's been you know really good and you know really highly recommend you know in, in there you know they are anti imperialist uh, from an anti imperialist left left viewpoint but they are journalism they are you know a very valid news source if anyone has an example of something false being published on the gray zone that had to be retracted or that should be retracted i would defy them to let us know <laughs> yeah definitely that is. and and media that that are outside of the of the main kind of you know what the big the big eight that kind of almost the media companies uh, outside of that that window that overton window of acceptability uh it gets gets suppressed by search engines uh and, and depreciated and, and yeah i mean it's it's that's that's problematic and so where this connects on to uh wikipedia is that on Wikipedia, the, the gray zone is what they call a deprecated news source. And if you, if you, I believe, if you try to link, use it as a reference, if you're doing a Wikipedia article or editing one, um, they will either disallow it or push back on that. Hmm. You know, and it's not a, a trusted, you know, legacy news source. I mean, that is a thing that the the gray zone guys have talked about. Interesting, but. Here we are still at Wikipedia, because what are we going to do? Are we going to go to the other Wikipedia? Yeah, same for YouTube. I mean, if you need to find a little how-to video, you look on YouTube. If you need to look up some concept, you look on Wikipedia. Yeah. yeah. So the Overton window is, is this, this concept of, of the things that are allowed to be talked about in mainstream, in, in corporate media, you know, the mainstream sources. And, and kind of the idea is you, you set kind of this left limit and the right limit. And so the, the, left, the left limit might be something like um, Bernie Sanders talking about socialism. Yeah. And that's considered like the, the left that we, and if you're going further than that, if you're talking about communism or communal ownership of property and things like that, no, that's, that's crazy talk. And on the right wing side, although it keeps getting pushed more and more right, it seems like, um, you know, you would have things like censorship being normalized, I would say. But, you know, you have more right wing concepts of things like restricting immigration or, you know, all the, the you know, the right wing kind of things. But going real right wing into, you know, fascistic or white supremacist type of talk that's outside. Um, but the other part of it, and this is something that, you know, there's a Noam Chomsky quote about this, about what happens in the middle of the window that used to be on this Wikipedia page. And uh, it's it's no longer there. I had, uh, I had luckily kind of copied and, and pasted it out of the uh, pasted it out at one point. Um, and the uh, what used to be there <laughs> was um, in 1998, Noam Chomsky said um, about the about the Overton window and and what happens within it 
He says that the smart way to keep people passive and obedient is to strictly limit the spectrum of acceptable opinion, but allow very lively debate within that spectrum, even encourage the more critical and dissonant views within the spectrum. That gives people the sense that there's free thinking going on, while all the time the presuppositions of the system are being reinforced by the limits imposed on the range of the debate. So within that range, you, you let people argue and, you know, people, uh, but outside of that range, the discussions don't happen. And apparently this Noam Chomsky, Noam Chomsky quote was outside of that range because now it's gone from the Wikipedia page on Overton Window where it seemed to fit quite well. Absolutely. I mean, you're, you're allowed to, to argue till the day's end about critical race theory, and you're not allowed to talk about whether we should be spending all the money that can feed our citizens on war. Mm-hmm. 